Today, I can announce that we're providing $192 million to directly support vaccine development and production in Canada. We're investing in a long-term solution to COVID-19 right here at home. Our government will be signing an agreement with Vancouver-based Abcelra to support their work on drugs to prevent and treat COVID-19. We're also working with Quebec City-based Medicago for vaccine testing and production. At the same time, we're providing funding for the University of Saskatchewan's Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization for development and clinical trials. Once there are promising options, Canada needs the capacity to mass produce treatments as quickly as possible. That's why we're investing in the National Research Council of Canada's facility in Montreal to prepare for the rollout. These are critical steps forward. But we have to remember that vaccines won't be ready overnight. They will take months to develop and test. So while that's happening, we need to work to mitigate the impacts of this virus. And luckily, we have the tools we need right here at home. Blue Dot in Toronto was among the first in the world to identify the spread of COVID-19 coming in nine days ahead of the World Health Organization's public warning. We've signed a contract to use this Canadian software to model the disease. It will help us track and therefore slow the spread. Minister Baines has also sent a call to action to every university, college, polytechnic, and CGEP in the country. Their labs have the resources and expertise to be part of this fight. We've asked them to identify equipment they've got, like masks and ventilators. At the same time, we're looking at innovative solutions they can be part of, including 3D printing of medical supplies. Many institutions have already stepped up, and many more will do the same. If you need more information, please go to buyandsell.gc.ca. We need all hands on deck.